If you're thinking of reselling your rigs and want to maximize your returns, then maintenance is key. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take care of your Rick Goins leather boots and shoes. I see a lot of you guys walking around with really cooked geos, and that's not cool. These are pricey shoes that you should be taking good care of. And especially if you want to resell them later on, you want to keep them in as mint condition as possible. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to clean them, recondition them, and keep them looking pristine for years to come. Let's get into it. Rick Owens uses a variety of leathers for his boots and shoes. He tends to work with a lot of cow and calf leather, like the ones on these gerbil weapons, and uh, also horse leather, like the ones on these tractor dunks, which are used on the geos as well, and even kangaroo leather. Everything I'll be showing you today will be applicable to these leathers, anything that's considered to be a smooth leather. So today we're gonna to be working with four tools to maintain our leather shoes. The most important one is the leather conditioner. This one is a smooth leather conditioner with mink oil by Saphir. Saphir is a French brand that creates some of the best leather maintaining products in the world. This little bottle cost me about 20 euros here in Europe. You'll also want a horse hairbrush, a uh, microfiber towel, and a magic eraser. So first step is removing the shoelaces from the boots. I already did it for these guys. And next we're gonna go at it with our horse hairbrush. So the importance of using the horse hairbrush is to remove any of the large dust particles that can get on the leather. And uh, this is important because the next step is going to be kind of wiping it down with a damp towel. And what happens if, is if you have a lot of the particles, then those particles could scratch the leather when you're trying to wipe it down. Don't be afraid to use some force with the, with the hairbrush because it's super soft and it's not going to scratch your your boot. So make sure you get all of those big dust particles out. All right, so after going at it with the hairbrush, it's looking a lot better now. Uh, I've removed most of the particles that were on the surface of the leather. I bought these back in 2018 and I haven't given them a proper maintenance. There's a little bit of cracking in some areas. This is horse leather. Horse leather is way stronger than cow and calf leather. It's just much more resistant to abrasions and scratches. So it's even more important for your calf and cow leather to be maintained properly because they will suffer damage quicker than the horse leather. All right, so the next step is gonna be wiping down these bad boys with a damp microfiber towel. What I did is I just ran this under the faucet and then wrung it out. And what we wanna do is with little circles, go around the shoe, trying to pick up any dust that got in the leather grain and it's stuck in there. Don't worry about pressing too much here. During this step, it's not uncommon for some dye to come off. So your towel might get a little bit of dye on the towel, but that's perfectly normal. We really want to focus on areas that have a lot of abrasion. So in between the tongue and the eyelets is a very important part. Also where the sole and the leather meet. All right. So now we've given these guys a good wipe down. They're looking a lot shinier, a lot better. The next step would be applying the conditioner to the boot. Now that we've wiped it down and brushed it, there shouldn't be any dust that prevents it from absorbing the nourishing elements from the conditioner. So what I like to do is I just literally drop one drop on my finger. This is um, all natural, so you shouldn't be worried about getting any burns or anything. This is, you can use your fingers totally fine, but you could also use a towel for, for this step. And then what I do, I just, Choose one spot and then encircle in a circular motion, start applying it. Leather is essentially an organic material like our skin. And like our skin, it needs to stay moisturized and clean. That way it stays youthful, looking young, and just like you guys. Use that moisturizer on your face, those serums. This is basically like a magic serum for your leather boots. So there, there are also other leather products out there. What I'm showing you guys is just the moisturizer, the conditioner, because that's the most important part. That's what really great, like keeps the moisture in the boot, gives it that suppleness that you want. There are obviously other products out there that will give you like a shine, that give you like shoe polish, not specifically for Rick Owens, but you know, for, for other boots that might look cool. Another benefit about keeping your shoes in tip top shape is the resale value. 
especially Woodward Goins shoes. If you keep them mint, you could resell them for close to the price that you, you got them. And people who are buying secondhand want to get, they want a product that is in good condition. All right, now we finished applying the conditioner to the boots and it's looking a lot better. And the leather, you, you can already feel the difference. It's, it feels, it's feeling a lot more supple. So we're gonna to want to leave this on for at least 30 minutes. You know, I want to, I want to give it time to really soak up those nutrients that the, the mink oil and the conditioner from this is, is giving it. Okay, now the last step is to clean the sole properly. And for this, I think the best thing to use is this magic eraser. And I'm gonna be using the turbo weapons because it's easier to see the, the stains coming off. Um, so what I do is with the magic eraser, some people don't know, but you need to dip it in water for it to work. Otherwise it's not really working at all. And then kind of squeeze any surplus water from the magic eraser. You want to go ahead and start rubbing scuffs and dents on the, on the sole and it will come off looking like brand new. All right. We just finished using the magic eraser on the sole of these turbo weapons and they look absolutely mint. Looks like they just came out of the box. Look at it in comparison to these guys. Hope you can see the how many more scuffs are on the, the sole of this compared to this guy. No matter how well you take care of your shoes or boots, eventually will come the day after enough use that something breaks uh, or something needs to be replaced. Um, for example, I had, I've had these Adidas Rick Owens Mastodons for the longest time. They've been my beater shoes. Earlier this year, I had a tear form between the leather and the sole, and I had to take it to a cobbler. Uh, whenever something like this happens, it's better you know, to take it to a cobbler or someone that really knows how to take care of these issues. Um, and it was amazing. He was able to insert a patch on the other side, on the interior, sew both pieces back together so that there was no tear. It looks absolutely you know, legit. And the other thing is eventually your soles will be very worn out. Um, these soles were beaten the heck. Like there was, it was absolutely flat on the backside and it was like, it was a liability. Like I honestly was slipping in the rain on me. So I also took it to a cobbler and he was able to create a custom Vibram um, sole replacement for this guy. So this whole entire part on the bottom was replaced and it's now it's we're just like brand new and it was a super clean replacement. I mean, it looks absolutely flush against the entire shoe. So it's really worth finding a good cobbler in your area. It's definitely something that you should have on hand in case something happens to your shoes. So one final thing I wanted to touch on about maintaining your boots and shoes is proper storage. I highly recommend you guys get a pair of shoe trees. This is a shoe tree. And what it does is it helps your boot and shoe maintain its original shape. So what happens is whenever we're walking around all day, uh, moisture builds up, especially in the toe cap. The leather absorbs that moisture whenever you take off your shoes and it locks the shape that you left it in in place. It starts creasing up and warping in a way that doesn't look really flattering. So um, what a shoe tree does is it maintains it in shape and uh, especially the wooden shoe trees absorb that moisture that was left in the toe cap. Um, so it will absorb into the wood before it absorbs into the leather, which is what we want. And it's really easy. All you do is, you know, you just insert it. And then this guy kind of bends and is supported by the heel. And there we go. We have a inserted shoe tree. So that's it. That wraps up my guide on maintaining your Rick Owens leather boots and shoes. Uh, please like and subscribe if you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave some in the comments. Thank you so much guys for watching and I can't wait to make the next video and uh, continue this journey into avant-garde fashion with you guys. Take care and see you soon.